My name is Mark Hellendrung, and this is the story of the Narragansett Brewing Company. On December 29th, 1890, the first Narragansett beer is produced. With the completion of their bottling line in 1914, Narragansett officially becomes the largest brewery in New England. Narragansett Lager Beer. On January 16th, 1920, Prohibition is in full effect. Narragansett is granted permission by the IRS to brew and sell beer for medicinal purposes. Narragansett. On December 5th, 1933, Prohibition is repealed. Rudolph Hathenreffer Jr. becomes president and owner of Narragansett. In January 1934, Rudolph hires Theodore Geisel, best known as Dr. Seuss, to create an icon for the company. He designs the Chief Gansett image and several other advertisements for the brewery. In April 1944, Narragansett begins a 31-year relationship with baseball, beginning with the Boston Braves and eventually the Red Sox. Hot dogs, peanuts, and of course, refreshing lager beer all help make baseball more enjoyable. In April 1951, Kurt Gowdy becomes the voice of Red Sox baseball and the spokesman for Narragansett beer, coining the phrase, Hi, neighbor, have a Gansett. Hi, neighbor. In 1955, Narragansett's market share peaks at 65% of all beer sold in New England. In 1958, Narragansett enlists Irene Hennessy as one of the high neighbor girls who escort patrons on brewery tours and attend promotional events. In 1959, Narragansett celebrates the brewing of one million barrels by presenting each employee with a gold-plated bottle. It's a bottle of Narragansett beer, the beer with that famous straight-from-the-barrel taste. In September 1961, Narragansett starts using animated television ads with the famous comedy duo of Mike Nichols and Elaine May. So look at the bottle with the, the happy amber liquid glowing within it. On July 15, 1965, Falstaff Brewing Corporation purchases Narragansett beer for $17 million in cash and $2 million in Falstaff common stock. The deal takes nine years to finalize. On October 25, 1969, Led Zeppelin performs in the Gansett Tribal Rock Festival at the Boston Garden. On October 10th, 1971, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young perform at the Gansett Tribal Rock Festival. Gansett also sponsors the infamous Newport Folk Festival when Bob Dylan goes electric. By April 1972, Narragansett Brewery is producing 1.7 million barrels a year. On June 20th, 1975, the film Jaws was released with the famous scene of Captain Quint crushing a can of Gansett to intimidate Cooper. Under Falstaff's leadership, the brand began to lose its identity. Falstaff ended the Red Sox sponsorship, let go of salesmen, and ultimately Falstaff moved the production of the beer to Indiana. On April 13, 1983, the Narragansett Brewery closes its doors for good. On October 27, 1998, demolition of the once proud brewery begins. The bottling plant and eight other buildings are demolished over the course of several months. The last remaining vestige of the brewery facility, the trolley barn, is destroyed after a fire in 2005. In June 2005, a group of investors and I, Mark Hellendrone, buy Narragansett beer. With the help of former brewmaster Bill Anderson, we bring the beer back to its original recipe. In April 2010, just five short years after its resurrection, Narragansett sells its one millionth case since reforming. And on December 29, 2010, Narragansett celebrates its 120th anniversary. In 2011, Narragansett Lager Beer wins gold at the Great International Beer Competition. And Narragansett Light and all four Gansett seasonal beers win silver medals at the World Beer Championships. 
Today, Narragansett Beer has reestablished itself as a classic American heritage lager and is once again available throughout New England and beyond. And the story is still unfolding. Narragansett, made on honor, sold on merit. <laughs>